Well, um, anyways, I'll cover that later. So today, uh, it's Joseph Shantapeter's uh, birthday. If he was alive today, I think 1883, he'd be what, 139? I think that's right. My math is right. I want to tell you a quick story, tell you a little bit about him and how I came to know Shumta Peter and Long Wave and so forth. Uh, so this is uh, my introduction to Shumta Peter and, and my work is dedicated to Kondratov, as everybody knows, and to Shumta Peter. Huge influence in my thinking and um, title of the, the, the Long Wave is the greatest uh, forecasting uh, tool that we have today. And I've just added to his great work. Um, when I started in business, you now being young and ignorant, uh, at the time I was really more to the left, socialist, red Marx, uh, Karl Marx, and um, simply because of my upbringing, my parents were immigrants, hard work in the factories, I mean, never took time off, and uh, my uh, mentor said, well, you know, it's great, but uh, you're in the investment business, do you know about capitalism and, and how we got here, and then creative destruction, so never heard of the term. And he said, well, you should, you should read the balance and um, read uh, Shumta Peter. Well, that started me off to where I am today. It's just a progression of uh, this amazing aspect of um, this gentleman who um, really has changed the world. Now, the most important thing to know about, I mean, capitalism is and what you've come to understand is it's an evo evolutionary uh, system. I probably this is was the most uh, uh, fascinating aspect that I came to understand about um, uh, to Peter, um, and, and the connection with that really came about with when I was studying cycles and uh, technical analysis. I, you know, I dislike that name; it's misleading. It's really measuring supply and demand, but it was about energy and how energy moves. And energy propels things. So the business cycle and the um, the long wave are really just measuring movement and innovation. And that's one gigantic social cycle that propels society forward. I think that was the the big insight that um, that I come to understand about the long wave. And if you understand anything at all, right, this is just a cycle that repeats. You know, we overshoot. You know, with bubbles, and then they crash. They never come to the medium, the overshoot to the downside. Well, the long wave and business cycles, which Shumta Peter talked about, is this one evolutionary cycle upward, right? Uh, but this is just an in interesting illustration and uh, gift that I came across. Now, the heart of it is creative destruction. All that means is if you take a look at the evolution of energy, which is a big debate today, we had at the, we started really with uh, wood, and then that went to whale oil and uh, coal, uh, natural gas, oil, um, sorry, oil, then natural gas, and so now we're looking at renewable energies um, that are going to complement the mix. That's another topic to begin with, but always a better uh, system. Now, creative destruction involves that the new system is better than the old one. It's not forced. Uh, that's the form of destructive creation, as I call it, but creative destruction, just a better way of communicating. And we can all think of this. I mean, just think of, uh, you know, the phones we used to have. And, and then when this first came out, who would have thought that we'd have the power of information to at our fingertips, access to anybody and everyone in the world. I mean, that's, that's creative destruction. Um, this is the important aspect, right? So we have the old order, which we're actually in a, in a part of a cycle now that is actually collapsing, but uh, capitalism is just destroying the old order. I mean, systems, uh, wealth, um, uh, industries, uh, sectors, uh, you never know. I mean, if you take a look at uh, the this decentralized revolution we're going through right now, take a look at solar, um, there's so many companies and it's through this creative destruction, so many companies are going to collapse. Now, I don't think solar is going to dominate completely, but it'll be part of that mix. And simply because we have this untapped um, free energy source that'll complement other forms. It'll be interesting to watch what happens with uh, uh, solar going forward. 
One last thing is I think the 20th century really belonged to Keynesian economics and it was central planning. I mean, central planning didn't exist um, in the, uh, let's say, during the 1930s, and that totally reversed. Now, if you look at waves, you understand cycles that we're going to now revert again, right? It's, not, it's a simple forecast because the technologies, people, uh, systems are decentralizing. If you know, look at the evolution of uh, Bitcoin, uh, the if the internet. I mean, again, the access to information. You're going to have the same thing regarding energy, food production. So many things are coming down the road. So I believe that uh, Shump to Peter and this century will belong to a decentralized world, and Shump to Peter's creative destruction will be a part of it. I'll tell you one thing is, how do I know that? Take a look at the patents and patent growth is exploding. I mean, we, we have so many patents that uh, we have no idea. I mean, these Malthusians that dominate thinking today, which is so pessimistic, how can they forecast? How can they forecast a future without understanding the innovation that's coming? I mean, if you look at Mal Malthusian thinking or projections, right, it's a static extrapolation and that will continue well creative destruction doesn't work that way you, you you're destroying the whole system we don't know what's coming i mean give you one quick example because this is, i can go on forever but but think of 2008 what was the social mood back then right peak everything we're going to run out of everything peak oil and who would have thought fracking would have came come along or, or solar or even the smartphone i mean that was even in in, in the public's awareness. So never discount the future. Um, you have to look at innovation. Now, only 1% of those are the hallmark of creative destruction. Now, we're, we're in through and we'll be coming through a period that probably it'll be a lot of turmoil. We're already seeing that. And what you're actually seeing is the old system is collapsing. Plain and simple, central planning and all of its design out of the 30s can no longer uh, prevent creative destruction. The old orders collapse, and that's what we're seeing. And it's those in power who wanted to stay on, into power. Creative destruction, political upheaval, change, technology, uh, the social mood, social order, that is going to be huge over the next 10, 20 years. And your standard of living is because of those entrepreneurs who've changed the world. To Joseph Shump to Peter, thank you, because after understanding uh, the innovation is the hallmark of prosperity and true wealth, he is to be thanked and everybody should come to understand him. I'm going to put some links so you can watch some videos and read his book. Uh, the Fraser Institute put, a, put out a great book on him. Joseph Shump to Peter, thank you. More people should know who you are. Happy birthday again.